Hello there. I present to you a lowly Ephraim. You be a raceable Ephraim. The M27 C 512 made by ST the main conductor. And as most people are familiar with, erasure of these normally requires a hard UV germicidal fluorescent bulb. Well, a hard UV germicidal bulb to erase the little cells in there by UV exposure. And the question I have is how fast can you really erase one of these things? I know the normal erasure time, the normal off-the-shelf erasers is 10, 15, 20, 30 minutes depending on the type of bulb and everything in them. And I know they're running couple watt, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 watt bulbs in the units but the question is, as I said, how fast can you really erase one of these? Now I know about the Exxon strobe erasers, which does it in a few seconds, but I want to keep it old school style with an actual hard UV light. But as Tim Allen says, all power, and in this case, the light source or the UV light source for this application will be a high output sterilization lamp designed to run at 40 to 50 watts continuous drive power and in this application the EEPROM window is going to be directly against the bulb under test and the actual unit it's going to be used to read the memory condition of the EEPROM is my old homemade EEPROM reader programmer Plug the unit in. Let's see here. There we go. E prime in place. And the window nice and well cleaned. Set the unit there. Put a couple old ceramic resistors on each side to hold the bulb at appropriate and stable level and adjust it to where the bulb is literally in contact with the window and to kind of help the situation some a old metal cover it's nice and shiny on the inside to be put over top of the whole thing to help reflect light back into the device and now is the time for me to get the heck out of here because a UV light like that is not a toy and it can really do some damage to your eyes so time for me to get out of here power up the computer the read and the programming board and then get the old stopwatch out and do a continuous read of the EEPROM See how long it takes before I get a solid and clean blank read off the EEPROM. So, time to get the heck out of here. Hello, we're back. And here's 
the reading or the count that pretty much came up with, which is just under 30 seconds from all zeros to straight FF on all cells. Generally, the units would start corrupting in about 15 seconds and by 30 seconds if I pulled the power to the light just under 30 seconds then the cells pretty much all read straight FF or blank and I've already done been through this several times I kind of surprised at the result so I pulled out several different EPROMs programmed them at zero zero put them in the reader and ran them till they come up blank and then shut off the power to this waited a little bit and then reread them again programmed them again to make sure that something with the light did not damage the EEPROM and they programmed back to zeros just fine and then erased back to FF again in under 30 seconds. So, a, full, uh, a high output 40 watt UV sterilization lamp literally in direct contact with the window itself can reliably produce full erasure in under 30 seconds. Now it's actually probably closer to about 25 to 20 seconds but in general on several trials pulling the light at just under 30 seconds or just at 30 seconds and then doing a read will generally arrive pretty much 100% of the time so far that I've tried it has resulted in a fully blank chip so that is my little test of how fast you can erase a UV EEPROM with a little bit more power so take care take it easy and remember these things are not toys so you do not want to operate one of these while you're in direct visual sight or even can see a reflection off of something because these can really mess up your eyes and your skin so remember stay safe take care